Yo, what's up guys, Strats here and this is going to be another tutorial. Today we're looking at background number 4, uh, creating layouts, um, part 4. And basically today we're going to be focusing on text and saving backgrounds. Um, because I get a question every day asking about saving your background and how you make it so high quality. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. If it doesn't work for you, then I really don't know. But I'm going to show you how I do it anyway. Um, so let's start with text. I'm just going to start with a text box. Usually, if you've got a logo, you'll use that. Um, but I'm not going to use my logo. Um, I really don't know what I'll just put tutorial. Yeah, that'll do. Um, <clears throat> now, I'll pick a nice font. Um, This can be vital. That just looks stupid. Um, so hard to find a good font to use. There are quite a few though. Um, if you want to know where I get mine from, usually it's the font, dafont.com. It's a very well known site. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people already use it. Um, this is dreadful. Um, that'll do. I'm going to use Agency FB. Tighten that up a bit. Then I'm going to edit. In fact, no, though. Depends if I want it straight. Uh, yeah, I'll have it straight. Edit, transform, and then rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. Just put that up the side. Now, when you put it here, you can either have it on top of the layer and then if it's going to be but if you're going to pull it inwards like this I wouldn't suggest you put it over the layer I suggest you pull the layer under the modules so it's kind of underneath it like that um, you don't want to do it too much but I'm going to have it outside anyway like that now now for effects I said now twice and that sounded so weird um, just usual stroke put all the way down I'm going to actually lighten that up a bit, make it a darker grey. In fact, we'll make it a light green just to match the greeny effect. Uh, drop shadow, just going to pull that around until I like it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, make sure you just, if you want to copy them effects, I'll just leave them up for a few seconds. And then we move on to gradient tutorial. Uh, gradient tutorial. What? Gradient effect. Um, sometimes all I really do is just if you want to use a gradient, sometimes uh, a nice little effect can do is just to click click gradient, uh, put it at an angle, and then just bring this down, and you'll kind of get like a grayish to white effect. It looks pretty nice. Um, but that depends if you want to just have that or if you've just got a white text or not. So, whatever. Um, oh, the thing I've just noticed. Bring that above um, because basically I've got a glow on the app, on the module. So it's kind of making it lighter at the bottom. And we don't want that to affect the text. I'm just going to have to do all that again quickly. <laughs> don't know why I cancelled it. Should have just press saved. I was silly. Uh, drop shadow, bang, bang. This is all I really do with the drop shadow, just randomize it. it usually turns out alright. Uh, gradient, as I said, just put it at your angle and then you can just bring your opacity down and it will look like this. That looks pretty cool. I'm not going to do that anyway, I'm going to actually customize the gradient. <clears throat> Let's go into there. I want to change this layer to um, oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna. Yeah, just change it to light grey. I'm gonna be doing the metal effect, which I've done in the tutorial before. So if you don't know how to do it, you can follow this. Darker grey in the middle. Then pull this one up top, over here. Uh, as you can see, we've kind of got the gloss effect already. Put another one up there, make it like a lighter grey. 
really light grey. It will kind of fade into light grey, which looks pretty cool. Put another one here. Tone that down a bit to a light, lightish grey. And then you kind of want this last one to be, yeah, the same. Just keep it like that. That looks fine. And there's that text. Um, what you can do, you can do inner shadow, um, distance, and either leave it like that. That looks all right. Or you could like bring the size size in a bit, not too much, and then like bring the opacity down. It gives it an all right effect. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the text. Um, I'm just gonna move it around and show you where you can put text and make it look good. So usually what I'd do if I was making a background, I'll, I'll go along with this. Um, usually what I'd do, I'd put the name on the left here. Then I would put, um, this is going to be the name of the background. The person I'm making this for is called Tutorials. So we'll just go with that. Um, let me just twist it up, rotate 180. Then I'm going to put it this side. The text looks stupid now, just wait a sec. Sort it out. Alright. It's not letting me highlight the text for some reason. Quite confused right now. Oh, that's why. Alright, so we're just going to make that a lot smaller, uh, say 100. And then I'd put the URL here, usually I'd um, like make it pretty small. And then what I'd do is make it long it out by bringing that along like that. Separate the letters. Um, now, need to mess about with these because it's smaller text now. Make the stroke one now. Uh, switch up the gradient, so just make it go the other angle. And then you may want to take inner shadow off if you've got it on because it makes it or you could just lower it, but there's not much point to be honest. I'd just take it off fully. Um, and then make the drop shadow a bit smaller, otherwise, it looks stupid. Um, and there's that. So we've got that left, that right, and then we want to put something in the middle. So take this one, duplicate that, and then click on it, edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees, counter clockwise. And uh, what you usually do. I've just noticed what the fuck you boo. Yeah, that was a fail on my part. Uh, just put tutorials there for now. Just gonna change that you boo. That was, sounds pretty good. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? The B goes here. Oh my god. Okay, all sorted. That was. Surprised it took me that long to notice. <laughs> anyway, so we've got our middle text. Um, first thing we're going to do is um, change the gradient, put it up there so it's at 90 degrees. Then make this a bit bigger, make the stroke a bit bigger, put the inner shadow back on. There we go. Right, so you can put that wherever, like as long as it's in the middle somewhere. Uh, so maybe here, or maybe here. I'm going to leave it here because you can just see that under the description a little bit. And then what you do is duplicate again. I'm going to change the font this time and make it Bank Gothic. Uh, that'll do. I'm going to make that a lot smaller. So we'll say. 20 looks okay. Um, one second, let me just do something to this. Forgot to bring it back in so it's close up. And then tutorials. I'm going to make that um, a YouTube link again. Tutorials. And then put that across there like that. That looks pretty sick like that. If you want to do that. Um, obviously you've got to change the effects again. So make that one. No inner shadow. 
the drop shadow looks alright because it's kind of overshadowing the tutorials in the back. Um, but that's about it. And then you might want to move it down a bit, put the whole letter in. And there we go. That's lettering for you done. Um, now we're going to look at saving the background. So now we've got our background. Go to file. Remember, as I said, this is how I save it. If it doesn't work for you. I'm not sure why. Um, but this is how to do it. Save for web and devices. And then... Basically, all I want you to do is look at these settings and just do everything it says. Um, obviously, the quality is the only thing you have to change. Just first of all, get down all these settings and uh, make sure you know um, the exact same settings that I have. Leave that there for five seconds. All right. So basically, if there's a load of detail in this background, which there's really not, um, it's going to come out with massive quality. Um, so you're going to want to change that down until that bit gets to under 1K. Right now it's at, not one, not K, MB. Um, right now it's at 230.4K at full quality, so that's fine. If it had any more detail, like um, maybe a lot more, then that would go to like 1 MB. And make sure it doesn't get there it won't say 1mb it will say 1000 so make sure it's under 1000 okay and make sure you've got all these settings that's that's pretty much it so press save it's not letting me save this is great there we go um just save it to desktop quickly tutorial template jpeg and okay i don't use png when i save for web i just i've haven't tried it because I have no problems with the way I save it already so there's really no point um, but that's it for part four uh, as I say every background tutorial if there's going to be a part four I'm not sure if it's going to be a part five sorry I'm not sure um, we'll have to wait and see um, but thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did like comment all that stuff and thanks a lot strats peace